Hello ladies and gentlemen, I will come to today's edition of Programming Wizards. So today, I will be going to look at checkbox column, okay? We are going to see how you can add a checkbox uh, column in a data grid view. So this is what we are going to see. Like you can see, uh, if I click, if I tick it, I, I can also capture the events, okay? So you can see, uh, we have a checkbox column. So what we are going to see, we are going to see how we can add this particular column. But we are going to start from scratch. So we are also going to add, uh, to do also these other columns, okay? So, uh, fire up your IDE. I'm using Visual Studio 2013. So, uh, shift, control, shift, N uh, to create new project. I'll call mine a uh, checkbox column. Okay. So, uh, here is my form. I'll size it a bit. I'll then add a data grid view. Resize it. Or let me just dock it in parent container. Then I'll click. Inside the uh, form load event, I'll capture, I'll uh, call this update method. Okay. Then, uh, actually this update method will be responsible for filling the data grid view. So I'm going to say update the data grid view. So I'll define the method public uh, void update. Then the first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to add uh, columns. Okay. Then uh, just say that a grid view one uh, dot column count equal to three. I'm going to give it uh, the column count of three. Then I'm going to say that a grid view one again uh, dot columns. Okay. Now this will be an array, so I'll capture uh, the first element in the array. And then assign its name property to position. Okay, sorry, to position. Then I'll just now copy paste uh, this particular uh, one. Then I'll now assign data uh, grid one dot columns one. This one will be team. And then the other, the last one will be points. So, no, two. Right now, if I run the program, uh, I'll be having a data grid view uh, with blank columns, no rows. So, uh, the next thing that we're going to do is that we're going to add rows. To add rows, the first thing that we're going to do is that we create an array list. Call it row equal to new array list. Let me resolve this one. So row dot add will add the first element, which will be one, of course. Then I'll copy paste uh, these ones. Add the second element. Not the second element will be the team. Probably I'll call my team PSG. Then the third element will be, I'll call it, uh, assign the points. Then remember this is just a row, uh, we've not added to the data grid view. To add it to the data grid view, say data grid view one, dot rows, dot add. Okay, then uh, we pass the array list, but remember we have to convert it to array uh, because uh, the add method expects an array. 
not an array list then uh, that is our first row now we'll move over to the second row I'll just copy paste these ones the second one this one I'll give it Leon I'll give it 72 then after that one I uh, will move over to our third row the third row its position will be 3 I'll call it myself then I'll give it 70 points so uh, so far we've added our rows if I run the program it will have the columns and the rows but remember we wanted to add the checkbox okay so what we'll do uh, let me comment we'll say add checkbox column okay then uh, what we're going to do we're going to say that a grid view checkbox column I'll just call it check equal to new data grid view checkbox column okay then I'll assign its header I'll assign its header property uh, check dot header text equal to qualified okay then uh, check dot name okay you can give it any I'll just call it check box okay then uh, what we're going to do uh, we're going to add the check box we're going to add the checkbox uh, inside now inside our data grid view column so we're going to say uh, data grid uh, view data grid view one okay dot columns remember it's it's column dot columns dot add check okay now uh, let's run the program and see for ourselves so guys here you can see uh, we have our data our checkbox column okay I can uh, check them or uncheck them okay but what about if you want to capture the event for example if somebody clicks here I uh, want to capture that event what we'll do we'll just come here to the form design okay then in our data grid view then come to the event section so I'll just say uh, click like if somebody clicks uh, a cell data grid view cell click now what we'll, we'll do we'll, we'll check uh, if it is that checkbox column that if that particular cell is clicked is alongside the checkbox column okay so to do that one we we'll just say if E dot column index equal to three. Okay, remember that is the column index of our uh, checkbox column. So message box dot show. Then what we are going to show? We are going to uh, show the index. Say row E dot row index okay plus one actually you know uh, counting uh, normally starts as zero so we are just adding that one because we want to display it dot to string then plus row clicked actually what you can do 
uh, inside this uh, you can be inside the you can also use an if uh, else statements to ch to check the particular uh, row index and then determine whether the users checked or unchecked the uh, the particular checkbox so like right here you can see if you click second clicked okay so you probably you can be using uh, the if else statements to check whether is checked it or whether it it, it has been unchecked but for today i uh, hope you've enjoyed some uh, you've learned something in today's uh, tutorial so please if you have subscribed to this channel uh like this video share it with your friends and take care see you next time